I want to digress for two or three minutes to talk about points. Although strictly speaking you don't need points to build the colour mixing application, they can be incredibly useful. A point lets you specify coordinates on the screen and you can maintain a reference to those coordinates. So this means you can draw basic shapes and lines using points and then redraw them more easily later if you need to. Let's start by drawing a line using points. A point is literally that. It's a point on the form which has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. But instead of supplying these coordinates separately to, for example, the draw line method, I can just supply a point. And because I'm using a point object, I can maintain a reference to that point. So there are two points, let's draw a line with them. I still need a pen. But using points makes the draw line command a little bit more compact. Let's take a look. A nice magenta horizontal line. I can also draw a curve using points. Let's use a different pen this time. To draw, for example, a Bezier curve, I need four points. I need a start point, a finish point, same as my horizontal line, and a couple of control points. And finally, I'm going to call the draw Bezier method. Passing at the start point, the first control point, the second control point, and the finish point. A nice sort of sine wave going on this time. I can also draw a curved line using an array of points. the draw curve method this time. Pass it a pen and an array variable full of points. Nope, we've got a build error there from some old code. Let's fix that first. Let's comment this line out. So there's my custom wavy curve. You can see then points are actually incredibly useful and we can use them in a number of different ways.